Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and badgers and all those other things that choose to watch my content. This is Dark Sage Walker and this is Baba Is You. Now, to be fair, I have not actually played a lot of this game re lately, so we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna seek to amend that, and we're gonna do so by going to the Forest of Fall. Now, I did practice these levels, but my goodness, they're obtuse. So, here's hoping that I can remember some of the solutions to these. Otherwise, these are going to be some very, very awkward <clears throat> a few videos here. But, another thing that I've been doing lately is I've, all, <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time thinking about, you know, storytelling. I just realized I pushed that the wrong direction. I'm a genius, but... It's okay. I've got a backup. Haha. -ha. There we go. That one wasn't so hard. Fortunately, that one's got an easy solution, and so does its extra stave, so I'll just do that right away. It's only a hop, skip, and a jump away! <laughs> this one is actually very similar to the other one. But, as you can see, they decided to alter where... Oh my goodness, just got out of the shower and I am sweating like a beast. to do this. I know I gotta push these over uh, over across the uh, across the river. so bad. <clears throat> but I think a lot about storytelling. After all, I do play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons and do a lot of do a lot of writing to try to improve my art. So, it's things that I tend to think about quite a bit. Kiki is moving up and down kind of pointlessly. But, out of the way, Kiki. Hold on. Water is defeat. Okay, well... Now, to make it so that we pull the key, and key key is move, so she can just go over, or he, whatever, and just grab it, drag it back across the water for me. You can drag it across the water for me! There we go. Not bad at all. Glad I remembered that one. Alright, so I've gotten three puzzles done on this video. I feel good about that. I know this one had me stumped. So let's see if I can remember how this one works. Foliage is defeat, flag is win, brain is pain. 
Push the rock and then teleport the water. Oh, yeah. Water is melt, rock is hot. Oh, so I just have to manage to get over there and push the rock. Alright, so. The important part is to get everything in place. Oh my god, I'm sweating so much. Like, I'm sorry to be telling you all of this, but... Oh my goodness, it's just so... Problem is, I need to get over there too. Well, I never said that Baba is you would be an easy time. But that's okay. It's not a bad thing to have some brain benders. Alright, so... I think I'm... I think I have something. Though I think I was being overly convoluted about it. There we go. Alright, that makes more sense. Thought I was gonna forget that one forever. Ghost friend. All right, Baba is mean. The movement and the key and the flag and something's gonna have to get pushed. All right, so probably the big problem here is that the flag is simultaneously me and little Baba here. This one. Oh wait, I think I remember. Alright, 
There we go. Admittedly, it wasn't as clean as the first time I did it, but it's another solution, and I'm happy to have found it. Telephone, eh? Who I need to be calling, eh? So ultimately, when I think of story writing, the reason I, the reason I want to put so much emphasis on that is because I think it's important to be able to be able to tell a good story, no matter what that story may be. Oops. general what the solution is, it's just a matter of figuring out how to get it to happen. Alright, let's... Let's... at this a different way. Once again, I have a good idea of what I need to be doing. Whoops. There we go. All right, now let's make key push. Baba will now use her newfound dimensionalist powers to teleport the key across across the trees. And booyah, done. All right, that wasn't so bad. That technically clears the area, but you know we're going to do the rest of these puzzles. You know, and it's to that point that I find that when, that writing is writing is a thing that's easy to explain but hard to master. All right, so. Alright, so the key here, put one ghost in between the words love and win. Move the second ghost up in front of the sentence leaf is defeat. <coughs> now, make the, now make it so that the ghosts teleport the word is between each other. The word leaf is no longer defined, so ergo victory. Hey. 
Feeling smart yet? Don't worry, that won't last. I don't mean that to be insulting. I mean, this game is crazy obtuse when it comes to some of its solutions. I don't feel bad. Hi, Moogs. Keep out! Alright, I remember this one. So, the first thing we're going to do is work on pulling the belt. I just don't remember where I need to pull it to. I think I need to pull it there. Alright, we no longer need to pull the belt, but now we need to pull the tree, because the tree is hot, remember. Just like they were in California over the summer. Okay, that was rude. I apologize. I don't even know why I said that. That was just really fucked up with me. There we go. That one's not so bad. Doing much better than I was in the last video. I actually remember some of these solutions. It's crazy. Go figure. Alright. So the important thing to remember here is that the flag is pole. Oops. But you can't do it that way because the bricks are hot and the flag can also melt. Now, being very careful about your movements, what you need to do is essentially create... There we go. Now, I, I can move, the, I can pull the flag out of there, but I can't, I can no, now, no, oops, oh, stop that. Just pull it out one more space and, oh yeah, and then move this over so you're no longer pulling the flag. Alright, cool. Not bad, not bad. Ghost Guard! I remember this one being a pain in the ass, so let's have a look. Yep, I would call that a ghostly guard, alright. He has the flag, he is defeat and shut and push. Key is open because of course it is. an idea as to what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not sure I remember how to do it. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm admittedly a little confused, but I know this is the first step. You have to unblock that area. Alright, having a hard time remembering this one. Once again, obtuse solutions. They make for good puzzle games, but unfortunately, unfortunately it also leads to headaches. I do mean that rather literally in this case, but what's a little headache in comparison to making yourself a little smarter, eh? Alright, so, how does this one work? I know I have to go over here and rearrange the words. The problem is, I know that they need to be rearranged in an odd pattern. Obviously you need push. Let's just make sure I have that. There we go. That's how you do it. Alright, so put the teleport on first, then you can push, push, and teleport at the same time. Thank you. 
There we go. All right, got it. Hey, you just got to watch someone struggle through that one. But if there was no struggle, it wouldn't be nearly as interesting now, would it? Leaf chamber. All right, what did I do in this one? Well, you start by staring gormlessly at the puzzle, and then go, Hey, now what? <laughs> if you're not doing this for every puzzle, you have failed. Just saying. Alright, so. Fungus is shut and pulled. Right, what is open? Key. Alright. Whoops! Alright, so now we want we do not want the leaves to move on their own. We want to be able to pull the leaves. We also want to be able to pull the key. Alright. Alright, so let's move all of these over a little bit so that we have a bit more leeway. Fungus is shut and pull. Alright, now let's push them this way so that they're facing that way. Now we want them to move. Now we want them to move some more. Yes, pull the mushroom, please. And... Here we go. Push. mushroom over here. Now we can make the key push. We're gonna open the mushroom. Oddly, one, one thinks he would do that with teeth, not key. And there you go. Like I said, these solutions are getting real obtuse now, but it's not so difficult that you'll never figure it out. You just gotta pay attention a little bit. This one's interesting. I figured I figured this one out. There we go. And for what it's worth, yes, Kiki does specifically need to be facing up. Because 
because now Kiki is going to shift the hand shift that upwards and allow me to create our win condition except for Kiki is shift so Kiki cannot be our win condition so we're gonna make the flag the win condition there we go once again, not too bad, eh? It's actually 12 of these levels down pretty quickly. Alright, feeling rather proud of myself. I think I'm going to end this episode here. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, cl click the like button. It helps me out a great deal. Comment, subscribe, and of course, the best thing you can do with this video is share it with your friends. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and 